Okay, so uh, Proverbs uh, 9 and... Uh, Nine and nine and nine and nine. And it says, "Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning." The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. All right. Uh, we get go to uh, First Colossians. I'm trying not to make this video too long. Sometimes, you know, the spirit gets the best of you and uh, you go as you go. Uh, this is uh, First Colossians 1 and 23. Or it's back in that First Colossians. Uh, Colossians 1 and 23. And it reads, If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the, of the gospel which ye have heard, and which have preached to every creature which is under the heaven, under heaven, wherefore I, Paul, am made, uh, made a minister, who now rejoice, rejoice in my suffering for you, and will, uh, suffering for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Mashiach in my flesh for his body's sake which is the church the church that's right he house shy is the cornerstone of the building right the building being that um uh well uh technically in deep terms going deep this is the house of david right the, the house of uh, the tabernacle of david right which is which is being built right now through uh, the apostles and elders of DMS, on down to the other brothers, sincere brothers of DMS, doing this work in truth and sincerity, okay? So, you know, Paul said that, who now rejoice in my suffering, because the thing is, when waiting, up, waiting upon the Lord, it's not just sitting down and waiting and doing nothing, just waiting for the Lord. Waiting means to suffer, you know? Let me actually go into that word and see if I can uh, find that here. in my sufferings it says um, this is the word in the Greek for uh, suffering Strong's G 3804 Pathema 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 that which one suffers or has suffered externally a suffering misfortune misfortune Calamity, evil, affliction, the suffering of Mashiach, it says Christ, but Mashiach, also the afflictions which Christians, which Christians must undergo in, in behalf of the same cause which Yahweh Shai patiently, patiently endured. Because, see, when you're going through hell, and you're enduring it, you're patient, you're being patient with yourself. See, to be hasty is to be like, oh, you know what, fuck this, this is too much hell, I'm, I'm done, you know, I, I'm not going out no more, this is way too crazy. That's being impatient, that's being hasty, but to be patient is to endure that hell, and to say, no, you know what, I'm going to keep going forward, and keep staying strong, because, you know what, in the end of the day, the servant's not greater than his master. Okay, your house I went through it. So I knew going into this thing, I'm going to have to go through it, you know, that's being patient and waiting for, for your house shy, our Lord to come. All right. It says, it says, Christ, uh, Mashiach patiently endured. 
um, of an inward state and affliction, passion, and enduring, undergoing suffering. Because suffering can come from all angles, man. Through your physically, physically from your job, uh, the food we eat, your woman, okay? Mentally, by yourself. Mentally, can be like you be you. You're your own worst enemy. Mentally, you can talk yourself out of going on the highways and byways or talk yourself out from talk yourself out of doing a video. Mentally, you're your own uh, your own uh, weakness, your own enemy. Okay, so these are the certain type of things that all brothers or all the Atkins in this truth, all the elect that are in this truth, undergo each and every day daily because we are patiently waiting waiting for Yahweh Shai, which we are actually patiently suffering for Yahweh Shai. You know, just like he did for us. It's no difference, right? So I'm going to jump here to... Uh, I'm going to jump from uh, Colossians 1, 23 and 24 to Colossians 2 and uh, 2 and 6. And it says, um, As ye have therefore received Mashiach Yahushai, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through his philosophy. That's it on that right there. So, you know, basically the main point is to stay rooted in your house shut. And by going through affliction and hell, we do stay rooted in your house shut. You know? And, only, and it's only the Lord that can, uh, that can actually get you, get, pull you through your hell. You know? It's only the Lord can do it. You can't, you can't do it out of your own will. Seeing that the Most High, how brush in your side controls everything. It's impossible to do anything out of your own will. So this is uh, my next scripture here, uh, Ephesians 4 and 14. And it says, That henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried... You know what? Actually, it's lack of... Uh, 1 Corinthians. Um, 1 Corinthians 15 and... Sorry, 15 and 58. And this says, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. That's right, man. Just because we go through all that hell doesn't mean it's for nothing. You know, because uh, when you, you have to understand, I, I think the scriptures say that, um, so, somewhere in the scripture says that in a time of, um, in a time of prosperity, it's easy to forget about you know, uh, hell. In the time of hell, it's easy to forget about the time of prosperity. So you got to keep yourself balanced because Yahweh Shai, me, uh, Paul spoke about being, I know how to be abound when, I know how to be uh, abound when I'm abased. I know how to keep myself abased when I'm abound, roughly paraphrasing. So he knows how to keep himself on an even level. You know, you have to understand that, you know, we're in hell. So most of the time, we are in this kingdom, for the, for the most of the time that we're in this kingdom, we're going to be going through hell. You know, there's going to be times when you have, when the Lord gives you little blessings here and there to keep things a little light and even, but most of the time you're going to go through hell. Especially when Jacob's trouble comes, man. The Lord's going to be with you, but he's also going to try you. You know, so, you know, with that, I'm going to close. And I hope you brothers uh, got edified, uh, you brothers that are of the hopeful elect. Got edified, and uh, I want to say, uh, Ka Hala Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles, and that was a great millstone. Salutation to you, Atkin Pushing Word and Christian Sincerity. All right, Shalom.